Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to run Ruby program in Notepad++. Open any of your favorite browser, there you need to write on the search box Ruby. Then you can see this is Ruby lang org site. So click this site. Then after here, this is now Ruby is this all those things. So you need to click on this download Ruby. After that, uh, here you can see this is for Linux, Mac and Windows. So click on this Ruby installer. After doing this one here, the easy way to install Ruby on Windows, click on this download. Then you can get here the latest version of the Ruby. So 64 bit operating system, 86 means 32 bit operating system, that's for. So click on this first link. Okay, so here the file size 132 MB. Click on this start download. Okay, so this is the exe file. So this file that I already downloaded, so I'm not going to download. Now I'm going to show you the installation steps. So this is here, Ruby exe file. Now double click there. So here you can uh, see this is the set up for Ruby. I accept the license terms. Click on next. So this location Ruby is going to install. So I'm going to do little changes. Let's write here C Ruby. So this is now path and that's for associate this extension. That's fine. Click on this install. And here you can get this all those things. No need to change anything. Click install. So now this is the installing. Please wait while set up installing Ruby. This is the version. Now this is doing the extracting the files at this location so it will take some time so i'm going to pause the video completing the ruby this version and uh, set up so thereafter click finish to exit and thereafter this is the helping site ruby org site so run after that check that click on this finish so now cmd that open and here you can see this all those things so now or uh, you can see ms ys2 base installation so ruby installer 2 so this is the optional part and here you need to use uh, min gw development toolchain so i'm going to select first base installation click on enter after that you can see uh, there is uh, some processes going on ssh lc and uh, here updating trust database and appending okay so this is the another steps to for installing this uh, my sy2 base installation so it will take a uh, few minute times so i'm going to pause the video once again my sy2 seems to properly install after that, which component shall be installed? If you answer, press enter. Open Notepad++. So here you can see, this is Notepad++. So first important thing here, you need to go on the plugins. Click on this plugin admins. Here, this is the search box. There, you need to write NPP execute. EXEC. So you need to check that. After that, click on this install button. So if you click yes, okay, so this will do the operation of installation. Click on this yes. Now you can see downloading NPP EXEC. So now if I go on this plugin, here you can see NPP EXE. So first here, so there I'm going to write first hello world program so use put function inside there hello world okay now control as to save so let's uh, save this into the desktop so giving the name a b c dot for ruby we need to give the extension or b press enter so abc dot rb so now let's go on the plugins npp execute click on this execute npp script so first here you can see this is the current directory this directory so this directory has the file 
so for that we need to use your cd command to change the directory then use dollar then bracket here right so you can see this is your current directory that come there use that current directory so that changed to the current directory now next is to run the ruby program so for this one we need to use here ruby then use the dollar and thereafter give the file name so file name okay after that click on this save so now this giving the name run ruby so name should be meaningful click on this save and okay okay so here if i press the okay then you can see hello world it's a display so this is the hello world program for ruby now let's try to add the two numbers using go uh, ruby so this is here a initialized with 13 and uh, the next p initialized with 2 so using here put function so that's what that will do the addition so save that then go on the plugin npp execute then again so first here hello world it's displaying the next is put function that do the addition now you can also use here or uh, this piece of code to add two numbers so there i used to or uh, the function def so def is the function uh, sum sorry sum is the function now let's uh, save and execute this code so let's press ok so now you can see first hello world displaying then to the addition 13 plus 2 15 then here 10 plus 20 that displaying here 30 so this is how we can run ruby program inside notepad plus plus so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you